us whether we exalt you, whether we love you, oh God, you are worthy of our praise, oh Lord. Don't
without you, Jesus, and I. So God, and we have just come to seek you this day. We invite your presence in this place. Lord Jesus, just come and abide with us. Psalms 144, a psalm of David. Blessed be the, ro the, the Lord, my rock, who trains my heart for war and my fingers for battle. He is my steadfast love and my fortress, my stronghold and my deliverer, my shield and in him, in him and he in whom I take refuge, who subdues peoples under me. Father, we thank you this evening, O oh God. We exalt you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We declare that you are our God. Besides thee, we have no other. You are our mighty king. You are our redeemer, our creator, our savior. Besides thee, we have no good thing. And today we have come to say how much we love you. You have been our help. You have been our deliverer, oh God, in times of trouble. You have been our healer, king of glory. You have been our comforter, O oh God. Lord, you have lifted us up, Almighty oh Father. You have lifted our heads up, O oh God, and covered our shame, O oh God. We thank you, O oh God, and say how marvelous you are. You are our glorious God. We exalt you this evening, O oh God. We give you glory. We honor you, O oh God. We thank you because, Father, you have called us unto yourself, O oh God. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, because even in our brokenness, you have answered our prayers. You have carried us, O oh God, as on eagles' wings, O oh God. There is nothing on earth that we desire besides sea. We have tested and seen your goodness, Lord. And we want to thank you because, Father, you have been the strength of our heart. We have known your goodness, oh God. Our heart and flesh may fail, oh God, but you have been the strength of our heart. You will be the strength of our heart. You will be our portion forever and ever, oh God. 
because, Father, we look to you, O oh God. We depend on you, O oh King of glory. This evening, O oh God, we want to thank you. And we invite your presence, O oh God, in our praise, in our worship, O oh King of glory. This evening, O oh God, we invite your presence, O oh God, in this sanctuary, O oh God. We invite your presence, O oh God, in every heart, O oh God, that has come here, O oh Jehovah. And whatever the situation, O oh God, and the burdens, O oh God, that it, it has brought, O oh God. Father, we are inviting you, O oh God, who has told us, O oh God, to bring our burdens to you, O oh God. And you will make them light, King of glory. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, oh God, even because being in your presence is such an honor, oh God. And we would rather, oh God, be in your house one day, oh God, than a thousand elsewhere, oh God. You are our God. You are the rewarder, oh God, of them that seek you, oh King of glory. We want to thank you this evening, oh God, because you have held us, oh God. You have protected us, oh mighty Father. And you have brought us, oh God, unto yourself, oh God, for a reason and a purpose, oh God. You have blessed us, oh God, as watchmen, oh God, in this area. In our families, oh King of glory. And in our nation, oh God. And until, oh God, we see, oh God, the righteousness, oh God, of our families, oh God, the righteousness, oh God, in our nation, we shall not relent, oh God. We will keep on coming back to you and cry to you, oh God, for mercy, oh God. And we thank you because you are a faithful God and you love us. We thank you, oh God, for the blessing of rain. We thank you, O oh God, for salvation, O oh God. And we are inviting you that you would come and abide with us. That you would come and abide in our presence, O oh God. That even as you come and abide with us, that our hearts will be warmed, O oh God. That we may be strengthened, O oh God. That this day we may be taught of you, King of glory. We wait for you. We wait for you, Lord Jesus. Come and have your way, O oh God. We lift you up, O oh God, in this sanctuary, O oh God. We lift you up, O oh God, in our worship, O oh God. We lift you up, O oh God, in our lives, O oh God. Father, we want to experience you this evening, O oh God. We don't want to come, O oh God, and go home the same, O oh Jehovah. Father, would you come, O oh God, and minister, O oh God, to each one of us according to our needs, O oh God. You know each one of us, O oh Jehovah. Would you meet with each one of us, O oh God? And even as we come before your throne this evening, O oh God, we acknowledge, O oh God, our sins before you, O oh God. We acknowledge, O oh God, that we are sinful people, O oh God. And if we say that we have not sinned, O oh God, uh, we will make you a liar and your truth is not in us. Uh, and Father, you are never a liar, O oh God. Therefore, this evening, O oh God, we come before your throne, O oh God, and plead, O oh God, that you forgive us, O oh God, our sins, O oh King of glory. That you forgive us, O oh God, our weaknesses, O oh King of glory. That you will forgive us, O oh God, for times, O oh God, when we have been lazy, O oh God, in seeking you, O oh Jehovah. When we have spoken things, O oh God, that we ought not to have spoken. When we have done things, O oh God, that do not bring glory, O oh Jehovah, to your holy name, O oh King of glory. When we have thought of things, O oh God, uh, things, O oh God, that are not known by people, but you know them. And you know that they don't glorify you. Would you come and cleanse us, O oh God? Uh, create a clean heart in us, O oh God. Uh, and renew a right spirit within us, O oh God. Uh, take not thy Holy Spirit from us, King of glory. Renew a right spirit within us, O oh God. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, King of glory, O oh God. Would you restore us, O oh God, unto yourself, O oh God. Would you teach us, O oh God, your ways, O oh King of glory. Because you understand that we are frail, O oh God. You are frail men, O oh King of glory. Have mercy on us, O oh God. And we want to bring our families before you, O oh King of glory. 
We want to bring our families before you, O King of Glory. You have established us, you have placed us, O God, in families, O King of Glory, that we may be ministered, O God, in these institutions, O God. You are the creator of families, and you know the state of our families, O King of Glory. You know the cry, O God, even in this nation, O God. The families, O God, are crying out to you, O God, because of brokenness, O Jehovah, because of the problems, O God, the families are facing, oh God, oh, problems, oh God, of violence, oh God, of parents, oh God, against children, oh mighty father, of spouses, oh God, against one another. We know we have the problems, oh God, of addiction, oh God, of immorality, oh King of glory, oh God, amongst our children, oh God, and even us as parents, oh King of glory. We have these problems, oh God, that are threatened, oh God, even to break, oh God, that unity that you, you care so much about, oh King of glory. Therefore, we are coming to you, oh God, you are the only one who can save us, oh King of glory, because the enemy, oh God, has set war, oh God, against our family. Would you come, oh Jehovah? Would you come, oh Jehovah, and shield our families, oh God? Even would you arm us, oh God, for war with your word, with your wisdom, oh God, that we will know, oh God, even what to do concerning our families, oh God? The Father, you are going to bathe, oh God, your Christ likeness in us, that even as we are in families, oh God, we will treat each other, oh God, with love as you would want us. Oh God, that we will humble ourselves, oh God, before one another, that we are going to submit before one another. Father, you are the one who has said that you are going to restore, oh God, fathers to their children and children to their fathers. How we come before your throne this evening, oh God, praying, oh God, that you will do this for us in our day, that you would restore the relationships, oh God, in our families, King of glory. Meaning that is founded and a God in this oh God we cry to you oh God even as you have said you have promised in your word that even our sons in their youth will be like France oh God are fully grown and our daughters will be like corner pillars cut out for the stretcher of our parents oh we are praying oh God that you will do this in our days that you will bless our children that you oh God thank you because we know you are able oh God even to restore oh God broken marriages you are the institutor oh God of marriages oh God and where can we run to oh God when the foundations are shaken in our we can only run to you king of glory we invite you to come oh God and have mercy your people are broken they are broken, women are broken, men are broken because their relationships are no longer working. They don't know about tomorrow. They don't know where to take their children. Oh God, have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, O King of glory. We thank you. Thank you for the church. Thank you for the church. You have built your church, oh God, and you have said, oh God, that the gates of hell shall not prevail against your church, oh King of glory. Therefore, oh God, we have put our hope in you, oh God, because of your promises, oh God, and because we know that the church is founded, oh God, not on any other foundation, but on the foundation of Jesus who won the battle of the cross. Therefore, we lift our church to you, oh God. We lift the church of Jesus Christ to you, O King of glory, that you will restore the church, O oh God, to its mission and its purpose, O oh God, to be a light to the nations, O oh God. And where as a church of Jesus Christ we have failed, Father, would you forgive us?
us King of glory. Would you forgive us, oh God, ah, and take us back, Almighty oh Father, to the starting place, oh God, ah, where we first loved you, King of glory. That Father, we will retrace our steps, oh God, ah, that we will ask, oh God, we will go, oh God, ah, and ask, oh God, which is the right way, oh God. Ah, and when you show us, oh God, we are going to follow a King of glory. We submit, oh God, all the ministers, oh God, of the church of Jesus to you, oh God, that they will be submitted to you, King of glory. That they will be submitted to you, oh God, in everything that they do, oh King of glory. The Father, the fear of you, O oh God, uh, will be in them, O oh Jehovah. The Father, they will hide the word, your word, O oh God, in their hearts, uh, not just for our youth, uh, but for all of us. That Father, you will cause us to hide your word in our hearts, uh, that we will not sin against you, O oh God. Uh, that even as we serve you, O oh God, uh, that your word, O oh Jehovah, shall be the standards. That your truth shall be the standard. That only Jesus Christ shall be Lord. That no man shall be Lord, oh God, in any Christian congregation, oh God. And we are saying, oh God, for forgive us. Forgive us, oh God, where there are some that have lost their ways, oh God. And let the sheep of God from the pasture, oh God, from the house of God. That there is bread in the house of God and they will come seeking you because we are exalting you, O King of glory. Because for the what we are giving to the world is the bread of life who is Jesus Christ. That we are not going to move to the right or to the left to teach any the other gospel. We are only going to teach you. Thank you because you love us and you have blessed us, O God, even in this region, O God with a purpose, O King of glory. We pray concerning our leaders, O God. We pray concerning our leaders in the government, O God, and the leaders in the opposition, O King of glory. We are praying, O God, that these leaders, O God, will know, O God, that they would not be there, O God, that these leaders, O God, are going to humble themselves before the O King of glory, that they are going to seek your wisdom, O God, even in leading this nation, O God, that they are going to seek your face, O King of glory, that there will be justice, O God, in this nation, O God, justice, O God, for everyone, O King of glory. I'm praying, oh God, that in our leaders, oh God, uh, they will fear you, oh King of glory, that they will detest, oh God, what is evil, oh King of glory. You have said in your word, oh mighty Father, that the, you exalt oh, the nation, oh God, whose Lord is God, you exalt it, oh God, and we are praying, oh God, uh, that you will exalt our nation, oh God, uh, even as we seek you, oh God, even as your people cry to you concerning the righteousness in this nation, even as you change us, oh God, from inside, that there will be a change, oh God, in this nation, oh God, for the glory and honor of your name. We pray, oh God, even for the violence, oh God, that is still persisting, oh God, in the northern area of Kenya, oh God, and how we are praying, oh God, for your peace, oh King of glory. You are sovereign, oh King of glory, even over the warlords, oh God, in that area. And you, you, you are able, oh God, to quieten them, oh Jehovah, and to defeat their evil purposes, oh King of glory, as you have done of old, oh Jehovah. Remember your people, oh God, remember and have mercy Remember the economic situation, oh God, in our nation, oh God. Remember, oh God, your people, oh God, and make a way for them. You who own cattle on a thousand hills, oh God. Father, would you make, oh God, our Lord to be fruitful, oh God. And even now that you have given us rain, oh God, would you heal our souls, oh God, that they will be productive, oh God, that they will bring forth harvest, oh God. Prayer, oh God. We thank you, oh God, even for this opportunity that you have given us, oh God, even to cry to you, oh God, even to bring our needs to you, oh God, and in thanks, oh God.
You have told us, oh God, not to be anxious, oh God, uh, but instead present our, uh, our petitions, oh God, and make them known to you, oh God. Uh, and that, Father, when we have done that, uh, your peace, oh God, which uh, surpasses our understanding, will guard our hearts and minds, oh God. Uh, Father, even as we have come, bring our petitions to you this evening, oh God. Uh, Father, I'm praying, oh God, that you will help us, oh God, uh, to let them out your feet, oh God, and trust, oh God, that you're going to attend to them, and that you're going to give us your peace, oh Jehovah, even to guard us, oh God, even as we wait for your answers, oh God. We thank you. We thank you to, to you who is our King of glory, to you who is our Father, you who has compassion on us, oh God, even as a Father has compassion on his children, oh God. We are praying, oh God, that our granaries may be full, that you will provide all kinds of produce, that our sheep will bring forth thousands and ten thousands in our fields, that our cattle will be heavy with the young, and so they will not suffer mishap or failure in bearing, that there will be no more this cry of distress in our streets. Uh, and as you have said in your word, blessed are the people to whom such blessings fall. Blessed are the people whose God is Lord. We are truly blessed this evening, and we give you glory. We honor you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen, amen. We can celebrate the name of the Lord. We can celebrate the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you so much, the worship team. May God bless you. The Bible says, please, you may have your seat. The Bible says that the entrance of his word brings light and understanding. And it is our desire today that the entrance of his word to our life will continue to build us up, will continue to strengthen us, will continue uh, to lift us. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. My God, I can't hear you. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Glory to God. Now, today I just want to share briefly, but from the depth of my heart, we are going to have a look at the name Emmanuel. Please go with me. Go with me to Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14. Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14. It says, therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, a virgin will be with a child and bear a son, and she will call him Emmanuel. So Emmanuel is the name that we, we just want to uh, uh, have a look at today. Um, when the angel of the Lord visited uh, Joseph in a dream, you know, this is when now Joseph realized that the wife was with a child and, and the angel was just uh, telling Joseph, uh, do you know what, that the child that your wife has should be called the name Emmanuel. Now, Emmanuel is a Hebrew word meaning God with us, and it actually expresses the wonder of incarnation that God became flesh and made his dwelling amongst us. Now, the name Emmanuel occurs twice in the Old Testament and also uh, in the New Testament. And a couple of times we, we, we try, I mean, a couple of times we try to look at the meaning of these names. So the word Emmanuel simply means God with us. Now, uh, permit me to tell you a story. We went somewhere for evangelism in Limuru, and we had this uh, precious sister of ours that was so zealous for souls. 
And when we arrived at the gate, the gate was written Umbokali. And this sister encouraged us and said, do you know what? We have been given power that we can go inside. And when we actually uh, made our way inside, the owner of the compound decided to release those dogs. You know, and I realized that the person that was telling us that let us go for the souls was the first person, you know, to uh, jump and run out very fast. And so this then indicated to me then that she only told me that she will be with us. But then when the situation became a bit tough, she had to run for her own life. But then I present to you a God today that is able to stay with you regardless of the situation. He says that in his word, in Isaiah, in Isaiah 8.10, that devise a plan, but it will be thwarted. State a proposal, but it, it will not stand. For God is with us. In Psalms 46, verse 11, the Bible says, The Lord of hosts is with us. The Lord of Jacob is our stronghold, seller. You know, that he will continue to be with us. Hallelujah. In Deuteronomy 20, verse 1, the Bible would also indicate to us that the Lord is still with us by saying that when you go out to the battle against your enemies and see horses and chariots and people more numerous than you, do not be afraid of them. For the Lord God who brought you up from the land of Egypt is with you. Hallelujah. 26, verse 4. It says that the Lord appeared to him and said, sorry, the Lord appeared to him the same night and said, I am the God of your father, Abraham. Do not fear, for I am with you. I will bless you. I will multiply your descendants for the sake of my servant, Abraham. I believe God is still with you and he will continue to bless you because he, he, he actually died for you. When we talk of God being with you, uh, um, many a times we tend to think that whenever we are in trouble that he's away. No, the Bible would then indicate that though you pass through the shadow of the valley of death, the Bible says you, shall not, you should fear no evil because his rod and his staff will be there with you to comfort you. So I present to you a God who is able to stand with you. When you are in pain, he's there with you. When you are crying, he's there with you. When you are laughing, he's there with you. When you are celebrating, he's there with you. Hallelujah. Even when you go through bereavement, he's just there with us. He said, I shall not leave you nor forsake you. This would then indicate that this is a person that loves you so much. Hallelujah. You know, um, many a times when, when we go to sleep, there are a lot of thoughts that come through our mind. And, and, and I actually realized that God himself is affirming us. He says that the keeper of Israel neither sleeps nor slumbers. That would then indicate to me that, that, that when others are sleeping, I should be in a position also to sleep because he who is watching over me does not sleep. So when your love compels him to be with us, he says, then what then can separate me from you? Is it sickness? Is it poverty? He says, in all these things, nothing can separate me from you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says that, and I shall lift my eyes, you know, unto the mountain and see from where my help comes from. But then it, it, it then indicates that my help does not, does not come from man. My help does not come from the people around me. My help does not come from association. It says my help comes from the maker of heaven and earth. But if he made the earth and then say that he will never leave you even before you are born, then this would then indicate to me then truly this person loves you. Truly our God loves you. Buona Yesu asifiwe.
Um, when we look at Genesis 28, verse 15, it's a, very it's a very powerful scripture. It says, And behold, I am with thee, and I will keep thee in all places, whether thou goest, and I will bring thee again into this land. For I will not leave thee until I have done that which I have spoken of thee. In other words, he's saying that I will do everything I promised you. So if God said that he will actually bring you from point A to point B, he is able to do that. Why? Because his presence is always with us. So when we are going through that uh, you know, difficult uh, 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 situation, I am approaching that situation with the understanding that he is with me. Because I know that indeed it is night, but I also have got an understanding that day comes in the morning. Though I am crying right now, I know that he is there patting me. Although it, is seem, it does not seem to be what I want it to be, he is always there with me. He says, I will never leave you. He says, I will never forsake you. He says, even in death, I will still love you. Buona Yesu asifiwe. I'd like to ask us uh, to be upstanding for a time of prayer. There is this powerful song that I was singing and say that I am desperate for you. And, and, and I was just meditating on that word, trying to figure out... Uh, where then will I be without him? What then can I do without his presence? What then can I do without him? And then I realize, truth be said, I can do nothing. And so today I'm going to call us uh, to this time of prayer. And we'll, point number one of prayer will focus on Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. It says, uh, fear not for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will uphold you with my righteous hand. So please uh, lift up your voice and thank the Lord for just being there for you. You know, when you, you went through uh, that kind of pain, he was there for you. And Lord, today we just want to thank you for your presence. Even in our lives, you have been there for us. Through pain, oh God, you have been there for us. Uh, through everything that we have been going through, Lord, you have proven to be faithful, oh God, in our lives. Uh, and today we just want to say thank you. Thank you, my Lord, for your presence and for your faithfulness in our our lives have for indeed you have never forsaken me for indeed you have never left me and today we just want to say thank you we just want to say thank you as a church we are saying thank you in the name of the Lord Jesus daddy there is none like you and there is none to be compared unto you and we say thank you oh God for always being with us we say thank you oh God for always being our Emmanuel we say thank you oh God for always standing with us we say thank you, oh God. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your presence in our lives. For you have never forsaken us. For you have never left us alone. For you have never left us alone. And today we lift our voice and say, Lord, we thank you for your presence in our lives. For being with us. For being with us. For being with us. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. Thank you for your presence in our life. Thank you for your presence in our life. Thank you for always being with us, oh, Lord. Thank you for... Ne Thank you for all oh God. You have always been with us. And oh God, as a church, we are rising against every limitation because we know that you are with us. We are rising against every kind of tumbling block for we know you are with us. And we know you will never forsake us. And we know you will never leave us because your promises, oh God, stand sure, my Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus, your word has been tested seven times and proven to be faithful. 
faithful and proven to be true. And today we are rising, oh God, and we are saying that we are taking over nations, for we know you are with us. We are taking over cities, for we know you are with us. We are taking over territories, for we know you are with us. And today we say thank you. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, my Lord, for just being with us. Thank you, oh God, for just being with us. We thank you, Jehovah, for just being with us. We thank you, my Father, my Lord, for being with us. In the name of the Lord Jesus, ever since I was born, and to the extent that I was one year, and now I'm past 20 years, you have always been with me. You have walked with me. You have stood with me. And today we say thank you. You have stood with your people, oh Lord. And today we say thank you. You have all God preserved your people. And today we say thank you. Your presence has always continued to be with us. And today we say thank you because we know this is the confidence that we have in you, Lord, that you are with us. This is the confidence, my Lord, that we have in you, that you are with us. And you will never forsake us. And you will never leave us. And you will never leave us, oh God. And today we say thank you, my Lord. Thank you for your presence with us. Thank you for becoming our Emmanuel. Thank you for becoming our Emmanuel. Thank you for becoming our Emmanuel. Where then would we have gone if not for you, Lord? What then would we have done if not for you? If not for your hand of provision. If not for your hand of mercy. If not, oh God, for your hand upon our lives. And today we say thank you. Thank you, Emmanuel. 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 Manuela. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. We say thank you, God. We say thank you, Lord. We say thank you, Lord. We say thank you, Lord. It is only you who knows how close we were to having an accident. But your presence, oh God, you sustained our life. And today we say thank you. You were able to carry us all through, oh God. And today we say thank you. From Monday we are at Wednesday, Lord. We have seen your hand of protection and today we say thank you we say thank you lord we say thank you god we say thank you lord we say thank you lord for you have never forsaken us you have always been with us you have always guided us you have always led us and today we say thank you well today we say thank you we are raising a hallelujah to 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 you for your faithfulness oh god God, for your faithfulness, oh God, for your faithfulness, oh God, you have been with us, oh Lord, you have been with our families, oh Lord, you have never forsaken us, oh God, and we appreciate that, and today we say thank you, our hearts are saying thank you, Lord, we, our hearts are saying thank you, my God, our hearts are saying thank you, my Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus, you have preserved us, oh God, against every work of the enemy, against every work of the enemy, against every plan of the evil one. We say thank you today. We say thank you. We say thank you today. Indeed, there is none that is able to save us. Indeed, there is none that is able to protect us. Indeed, there is none that is able to sustain us. But you, oh God, but you, oh God, but you, oh God, your presence, Lord, in our lives, your presence, Lord, in our lives. We pray, my Father, my Lord, that we may continue to abide with us, that we may continue to abide even in you and bear much fruit, oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Jesus, we refuse, oh God, any plan of the enemy to take us away from your presence, to take us away from you, to take us away from your plan. We decree and declare that we will serve you, Lord, that our children will serve you, Lord, that our people will serve you, Lord. I arise for my community. I arise for my people. I arise for my family. I arise for my friend, that they will serve you, Lord, that you shall be with them, God, that you shall sustain in them, Lord, that your presence may continue to be with them, my Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I decree and declare that my people will serve you because of your faithfulness, Lord. I decree and declare that my family will worship you because of your presence, Lord, because of your faithfulness, Lord. You have been with us, Lord. You have sustained us, oh God. What then should we say? What then should we do? Our hearts are saying thank you. Our souls are saying thank 
thank you. Thank you, oh God. We are joining the 24 elders in bowing down before you and calling you holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. For your faithfulness in our lives. For your faithfulness in our lives. For your presence in our lives. We are worshiping you today in the beauty of your holiness, oh God. We worship you today in the beauty of your holiness, oh Lord. We worship you today in the beautiness of your holiness, oh God. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Emmanuel, for being with us. Thank you, Emmanuel, for being with me. Thank you, Emmanuel, for being with me. Thank you, oh Jesus, for being with me. Thank you, my Father, my Lord, for the work that you did on the cross. For the work that you did on the cross. For the blood that you shed, oh God. I say thank you Lord for even purchasing me with the incorruptible blood, with the incorruptible seed that lives and abides forever. I say thank you God for always standing with me. I say thank you Lord for always being with us. I say thank you Lord for always being with this assembly. We have seen your hand oh Lord. We have seen the faithfulness of your hand. We have seen the faithfulness of your hand in our lives oh God. And today we say thank you daddy. Today we say thank you daddy. Today we say thank you my lord. Today we say thank you my lord. Today we say thank you my lord. Oh God. When others are crying oh God for a downfall. For, to us we shall celebrate her. For, they, for there shall be an uplifting. For we know the Lord our God. You are with us. And I'm walking through every situation. I'm walking through every circumstances with the understanding that you are with me. You are with me Lord. You are with me, oh God, and you will never forsake me, and you will never leave me, for I know I am yours, for I know I am yours, for we know we are yours, oh God, we were bought by your blood, we were bought by your blood, and we are yours, oh God, and we, today we say thank you, and 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 today we say thank you for being with our families, oh Lord. We say thank you for being with us, oh God. We say thank you. If it wasn't for you, Lord, the enemy would have swallowed us alive. But we say thank you, Lord, for you have been with us. We say thank you, Lord, for you have been with us. We say thank you, Lord, for you have been with us. We say thank you, Lord, for we have been, you have been with us. You have been with us, oh God. You have been with us, oh Lord. And today we say thank you for your faithfulness in our lives, for your faithfulness in our lives for being with us oh God and we are obtaining grace to stay in your presence we are obtaining grace always to stay with you oh Lord as a church my father my Lord We desire to be with you. We desire to stay in your presence. We desire to stay in your presence. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we pray, oh God, that we may obtain grace to stay within your presence. We may obtain grace to stay in your presence. We may obtain grace to stay in your presence. We may obtain grace to stay in your presence, oh Lord. We shall be found here tarrying, Lord, for your presence, God. We shall be found here tarrying for your presence, Lord. And we pray, my Father, my Lord, if you are looking for a congregation to use, if you are looking for a congregation to walk with, if you are looking for a people, Lord, we are here, Daddy. We are here, my Lord. We are here, oh God, ready to serve you, Lord, for we have seen your faithfulness, for we have seen your hand, for we have seen your faithfulness, oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, Daddy, we say thank you. We say thank you, oh God. We say thank you, oh God. Come on, church, let us not get tired of just telling him thank you. Let us not get tired of telling him thank you. He has sustained our lives. He has been with us. He has held our hand. He has been with us from January. We are at March, and he's still with us. We are at March, and he's still with us. Lord, we say thank you for your presence. Lord, we say thank you. 
For we are, you are with us, oh God. Even when our friends, oh God, left us, you remained faithful. When our family deserted us, you remained faithful. When everyone left us, you remained faithful. Oh God. And today we celebrate you, Lord. And today we celebrate you, God. For we know that your presence is with our lives. For we know that your presence, God, is with us. In the name of the Lord Jesus, be exalted in this place and be lifted in this place. In the name of the Lord Jesus. That we thank you, God. That we glorify your holy name. My Lord, we magnify your holy name. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, we want to continue giving you all the glory. We want to honor you, our God, for everything that you are doing in our nation, everything that you are doing in Kenya. Father, we do not want to take it for granted uh, that King of Glory you have continued, you've given us the gift of rainfall, even as we pray for Mozambique and Malawi in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we know the people in that nation are suffering. The people in that nation are experiencing challenges. Uh, we want to pray, uh, oh Lord, uh, that the floods may subside in Jesus' name. Uh, we want to pray that you may rescue your people in Mozambique Zambic and in Malawi in the mighty name of Jesus we pray King of glory and Lord of lords that you are intervening in that land in the mighty name of Jesus we want to pray that the leaders in those countries are going to take the plight of the people seriously and Jehovah Lord the, the cry of the people will pierce their hearts and they'll move with speed to do something in the mighty name of Jesus we want to pray again corruption in Mozambique and in Malawi. Father, it is so bad that some people are even selling donations. Oh God, we pray for your intervention in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we've got our own challenges as a people, but we want to stand with our brothers and our sisters. Oh Lord, the missionaries in Malawi, the missionaries in Mozambique who are experiencing the flooding. Oh God, Father, we pray for your intervention. They infrastructure has been destroyed. The drainage has been a mess across ages. And we want to pray for your divine intervention in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, somebody go ahead and pray for families in Malawi. We've just received a text message from a missionary in, Mo in Mozambique. And she's painting a very dark picture of what is happening there. And she's a Kenyan. We want to stand in the gap for those people, the missionaries, the children in Mozambique and in Malawi who are are sleeping outside without shelter because of the floods that the Lord may intervene, that the government may intervene. Heavenly Father, we pray that Jehovah Lord, we have witnessed it here in Kenya where leaders don't seem to be so much interested in the plight of the people. We want to pray against Jehovah Lord laxity among leaders in Africa where they watch their people die, people that they promise to support, people that they promise to stand with. We want to declare in Jesus name that tonight oh Lord something is happening in Mozambique something is happening in Malawi something is happening my father in every country that is experiencing any calamity in our nation in Jesus name father we pray father we invite you in Malawi tonight we invite you in Mozambique tonight may you save the children in that land may you save the women in that land may you save Jehovah Lord's children in that land. May you save every family. Oh Lord, some families, their shelter has been swept away and we want to pray for your intervention in the mighty name of Jesus. Even as we thank you for the gift of rain in our country. Even as we pray for more. Lord, your word says that your blessings do not add sorrow, but they make rich. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus that you are going to intervene. That Jehovah's rain will not turn into a calamity in our nation in the mighty name of Jesus and so we worship you and so we give you glory and so we magnify your name 
And Lord, even for the political turmoil that we are experiencing in our nation, we want to pray for wisdom upon the opposition leaders. We want to pray for wisdom upon the government officials. We want to pray for wisdom, Lord. We want to refuse utterances that would fuel chaos into our nation. We want to pray for calm, oh Lord. We pray for calm in Nairobi City. We pray for calm in Kisumu. We pray for calm in Migori. We pray for calm in all our 47 counties that brothers will not rise against each other. That tribes will not rise against each other. In the mighty name of Jesus, we want to stand in the gap for Ukraine and other world torn countries. The Lord, you are going to intervene in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we just want to give you glory. We want to give you honor, our Father. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer tonight. Thank you that you are Emmanuel, God with us. That you are with us in the lack. You are with us in the hope that we hold dear. You are with us even when we are bereaved. You are with us even when we are sick and have loved ones who are sick. Because we know Emmanuel is going to cause healing to come into our families. To you, O oh God. To you be all the glory. We worship you, Lord, and we give you glory. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. We want to appreciate the Lord. You can have your seat for a moment. We want to give, and as we prepare to give, I want to ask the worship team to come and give us a number. You can give through MPESA. The pay bill number is 933-943. You can give cash, and the ushers have the baskets with them. They'll be going around. You can also give your, their envelopes for those who want to give their tithes and offering. So as we get ready to give, let us pray. And also as we give, sorry, you, will, you can also write your prayer request and drop it at the prayer box here. Uh, shortly, Reverend Judy will come and together we will pray. Trust God for his visitation. Let's pray for the offering. Father, we thank you for the blessings, the gift of life. We thank you that you have given us something of substance to come to and, and say thank you as a token of appreciation and also to further your work here on earth. We pray that, Lord, you may receive this substance and we thank you that you have been with us. Some of us, Lord, have nothing substance money-wise to give. I want to pray that, Lord, according to their desire, you who such as the hearts of men, you are going to bless them with business opportunities. You are going to open the floodgates of heaven and shower your people with jobs so that the next time they may also have something to give. And so we give, acknowledging that it has taken your hand for us to have anything to come within your house. We thank you, we honor you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Please write your prayer requests. The slips are already with a view. You can also get some from the ashes and we'll, you can drop it here in Jesus' name. you says what you do Lord you never fail you never change you are faithful to the end faithful God I worship you I worship you to fail me. to 
every good thing that comes out of our heart and our mouths. We praise you, we adore you, we exalt you. 
We magnify your name, Jehovah God, through our praise, through our lips this evening, King of all glory. We have chosen you. You are the one who has made us to be priests in your house. Lord, you have elevated us high and high. So we no longer bring our request to priests to bring before you again, but we can come directly to you because you are Emmanuel, God with us. God in real time. You see it all and you know it all. Everything about our lives is open to you. The one because you came and walked with us, you've declared there is therefore no Jew, no Greek, no male, no female. And symbolically, the temple curtain was torn into two, giving us sole access to your throne, that we may find grace and mercy to help us out at our time of need. So we thank you for each and every one of us, oh God, that you brought to your house this evening. Lord, some of us are here to give you thanks. Because you've been good, you've been faithful, you came through for them. Some of us are here because their hearts are heavy. Lord, they are burdened with the needs that they have. And they are here because they know, Lord, you're able to look down with mercy. And you're able to supply each and every need that they have you are able to make a way where there seems to be no way. Some of us are here because our bodies are complaining. Jesus, you know what it means to move about with a body that is ailing, with a body that is in pain. And sometimes, especially when doctors have not given you hope, we are here because we know you are a miracle worker. You are a miracle worker. You just need to release your power upon us this evening, and ye shall be done. So, Father, according to the measure of our faith this evening, we pray that you look down upon us and supply each and every need. Hallelujah. As I also call out the pastors to come, we declare that these needs that have been written on this paper, this even these papers are made this evening. There's one asking for education, asking for a family, asking for God's guidance in the next move, asking for God to be glorified in the insurance case, asking for an opening in the Sun World Company that she may get that job, he or she may get that job. Trusting financial breakthrough and favor in the place of work and to be spirit filled. Oh yes, thank you Lord. One is thanking you for successful how successful so far they experienced as a company. Is it SEPA International? You come through for them. Joy of salvation and restoration and thanksgiving. For the first time. Oh, for the first time I'm single and happy. Wow. What is this? Happy youth or what? Happy Wow. We bless that the Lord, that the desperation is no longer there. And our loved one will, be, will patiently wait for the Lord. There's a sweet one here. Dear Papa, thank you for all your ways. You have been a father and a God to me. Even on the days I didn't like you too much. You will always love me. 
always and forever, I know that now I love you too. There's one that asking that we pray for prosperity over their family business, which is doing very badly at this hour. We pray for God to miraculously expedite U.S. visa renewal. Praying for the new job. There are a lot of challenges to overcome. Family challenges as well. Walter is asking God for a job to get ill. Praying for family and children. A prayer for financial breakthrough. Prayer for restoration of health and wealth. Prayer for healing. Upon my little mother, brother, or brother who got an accident while riding a bicycle from school, oh Lord. Praying that the Lord destroys the work of the sorcerer in their home. Praying to get a caregiver job. And there are so many more, more than the ones that we have read. And the Lord see what is written in each and every one of them. My brother, my sister, even before you took hold of that pen, the Lord already knew what the need is. So we are just going to lay our hands as pastors, asking our elder, Oseje, I thought he was here next to me, <laughs> to just declare a prayer or breakthrough for each and every need here. Hallelujah. Come on, let us just say a word. Let us just pray to God Almighty. Every need is important before the living master. Heavenly Father, we come before you, Lord. We thank you for the gift of life in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for every need represented here, Lord. The need for a job, we bring it before you, Jehovah God. The Lord who opens the door in the name of Jesus. God, Emmanuel, God, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, God with us. Father, we come before you, Jehovah God Almighty. We pray in the name of Jesus. Even them that have found refuge in Christ them that have received the peace of God, we are here to say thank you, Jehovah God, for the open doors, my Father, even them that are thanking you for what you have done already, even them that are thanking you, O oh Lord, for who you are, Almighty Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we lay our hands, O oh God, Lord, over every need, King of glory, we know that God in heaven, he hears every prayer in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the open door. We thank you, Lord, for ushering your people into you, to their destinies in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for healing right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for your divine provision, my God and my Savior. Anyone who feels forsaken, anyone who feels abandoned in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you this evening, Jehovah God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for restoration. Lord, we are restoring that relationship. The broken relationship is being restored back by the Almighty Father in the name of Jesus. Lord, we scatter the work of the enemy. Lord, in the name of the Lord, may you arise and your enemies be scattered. May you arise, O oh God, in the mighty name name of Jesus. Lord, we want to rejoice because you are doing something already. You are doing something already. There is something happening already in the name of Jesus. Even them that are listening to us, oh God, through the social media platform, Father God Almighty, we want to thank you for what you are doing, Lord. You are a miracle worker in the mighty name of Jesus.
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jehovah God, for we believe that you have released an answer for each and every need that was presented before you tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We receive them. We receive each and every one of them, oh God. Every breakthrough, every healing, every spouse, every job opening. Lord, we receive all of them with thanksgiving in our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Would you like to appreciate the pastors for standing with you in prayer? And today, I stand next to a wonderful brother in the Lord, my senior brother in the Lord. <laughs> the Lord has brought us together from different parts of the world. And he's also my colleague, <laughs> Pastor Pika. Yeah. Praise the Lord. I'm so excited to be here with you. I'm so excited. God already blessed me in the time of prayer, in the time of worship. And uh, I'm so excited to be with you, to be in the Sitam family. God bless you. All things that you invested in the all part of the world. We are so blessed to know you, so blessed to be blessed with, with your ministry here. God bless you. Amen. Pastor Pika is our pastor at Sitam, Romania, and he is here for a season of encountering Sitam in the different Sitam assemblies as much as the Lord will enable him to go around. But this week, He's here with us at Sitam Gong. He dropped in yesterday. He's been here since morning with us up to now, and he's just had a blast. And he's here again with us tomorrow, Friday. Saturday will be with, at the RAGM, and Sunday again he will be with us. So when you see him around, please pray for Sitam Romania for restoration, for growth, for the move of the Lord. Amen. And I just ask that we agree now that the Lord begin to plant that seed right now in Jesus' name. You want to raise your hands towards pastor. Ask the Lord to just keep him safe, protect him, speak to him, lift him up. As he looks forward to going to Romania, the Lord will show him exactly how to do ministry there as we trust God for the restoration of Satan, Romania. Amen. Father, you've heard us. We've singled out the needs in summary to you, but you know each and every need in Romania. You know every need in the church at Romania you know how you want your people to walk humbly before you in the light to make a difference in Romania. So, Jehovah God, as the proxy of the people of Romania, we lift Pastor Pika to you, King of all glory, that as he continues to experience you within Sitam, Kenya, that Jehovah God, you speak to him clearly in a manner that you will be able to understand, hear you and understand as you guide and direct him on how to go back and do the Romanian church in a manner that your people will be restored, in a manner that your people will hunger and thirst for you, in a manner that you will help your people to encounter you more and to live as light and salt of the world that you and that nation may be changed for the glory and honor of your name. We commit all the needs of Sitam Romania to you. Father, pick out each and every need and answer according to your will. We pray for growth in Sitam Romania. We pray for direction 
for Sitam Romania. We pray for an outpouring of the Holy Spirit for Sitam Romania, Uka. Like the early church of old that saw the move of the Holy Spirit in a great and mighty way, we pray that Sitam Romania will know you and experience you in a new way. May your anointing rest upon our pastor Pika in a new way, King of all glory, as he commits to your work in Romania. We pray that during this one week, we will be a blessing to him, O King of all glory. We will be true brothers and true sisters to him. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Mm. You want to wave again, Pastor Pika, as you go down, wave to God's people. Amen. He's happy and excited to be among us this week. Would you want to rise up for the benediction? And as you rise up, let me just say thank you so much, worship team, for always being here with us to minister to God and to his people. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine brightly upon you and grant you his peace. And may the Lord turn his countenance towards you. Be gracious to you. Each and every single moment of your life. As he takes away every burden that you may be carrying. Grant you lightness and freedom in the spirit. And Lord, may you keep us all safe this night as we go back to our respective residential areas. May your mighty hand of protection be upon us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let's give a round of applause to the Lord God Almighty. <laughs> Hallelujah. As you walk out quietly meditating on the goodness of the Lord, Emmanuel, God with us, God in real time, you know, God today with us, seeing everything, he knows everything. May he minister to you through his Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you.